troopers working to figure out what led to a car being shot up. Our camera spotted the car was parked right outside of a gas station riddled with bullets. Local 10's Trent Kelly been following the story since it broke. He joins us now from Pompano Beach. Trent, what have we learned? Well, Eric, JC, we were actually watching just a short time ago as investigators towed that car away. The silver Dodge Avenger covered in bullet holes was parked for hours this morning right in front of this racetrack. Horrified customers all looking on as they say the car's driver ran outside desperately looking for help. And I saw the car, it had bullet holes all over it. A gas station parking lot turned crime scene in Pompano Beach after witnesses watched this silver car covered in bullet holes pull up to the racetrack off Atlantic Boulevard overnight. I got in my car and the police were banging on my hood to pull away that I'm in the crime scene. Cynthia Rose says she was inside the store grabbing coffee when she noticed a woman get out of the car in a panic. The older lady who was driving was hyperventilating from the anxiety and the shock of seeing her passenger be shot in the face. Rose says the woman told deputies her car had been shot up while driving down I-95, the bullets hitting at least one of the car's three other passengers. He was shot. While driving, a car pulled right up to their car and opened fire on him. Those are the two guys that were in the back seat over there. Cameras rolling as detectives spent hours collecting evidence at the scene and snapping photos of the damage. While troopers have yet to confirm where the shooting took place, witnesses are left wondering why someone would open fire in the first place. Was it road rage? Was it, uh, what was it that would cause such a strong reaction but to, for somebody to do that. Yeah, a lot of questions still left to be answered here, but again, uh, investigators towing that car away just a short time ago. We've still seen a few investigators lingering out here at the scene, likely talking to some of the managers out here. Now, at this point, we are still waiting on troopers to confirm some of the information we received from those witnesses. As soon as we get any updates, we'll be sure to post it to my social media accounts. You can follow me at Trent Kelly WPLG. But for now, that's the latest live here in Pompano Beach. Trent Kelly, Local 10 News.